We have fake lawyers, fake doctors, fake certificates, fake politicians, fake police, fake governors, and hope soon we won't have fake country. Nigerian police recently paraded 14 persons, including a fake superintendent of police, Lawrence Ajodo, who claimed to work for the Federal Antonio General Abubakar Malami, SEN, as those who allegedly laid siege to Justice Mary Odili's house, even though Malami has denied knowing him or any knowledge of the siege. There are plenty of questions still begging for answer. So, if fake police can raid the home of a Supreme Court justice using a valid search warrant, I'll be that one a fake too. We hope that soon we won't have fake police raiding as a rock, that's the seat of government, or having a fake senator emerging as Senate president, or a fake candidate emerging as president of Nigeria. Anyway, not a person will go here for this country. Hope soon we won't be told that the initial raid on the homes of Supreme Court justices in 2016 and the sacking of um, Onogen, former justice of the Federation, were done by fake DSS operatives using fake affidavits. Because the absurdity that this country cannot throw at you does not exist. I hope it's not fake news too that farmers and residents of Damboa and some villages in Borono State have started paying taxes to members of Islamic State of West African Province, ISWAP. Hope no be another Afghanistan with a look for front. So anyway, typical of us, we will do nothing, but we will continue to say, God forbid. Since while others are investing in education, we are busy investing heavily in a religious economy. But I know for sure that it's not fake news that some members of ISWAP attacked a military base in Askira Oba local government area of Borno State recently that led to the death of Brigadier General Zama Zikusu, Meiso, and that of others killed senselessly since this war against terrorism and banditry began, rest in perfect peace, and may their blood avenge their death, since their government will rather rehabilitate their killers than confront them. And may our military, I say our military, continue to succeed in the fight against terrorism and banditry. Amen. Please note that, that my prayer is not a fake prayer. Hope with all this attack, though, our government have jettisoned that idea of rehabilitating repentant members of Boko Haram and Iswap, or even granting amnesty to bandits. Anyway, that must be fake news. But if I may ask, what happened to former EFCC acting chairman Ibrahim Magu's investigation report or allegations of corruption against uh, Nogen? Or the NDDC probe findings have been a fake report too? The answer is blown in the wind. How about the promise to expose the sponsors of Boko Haram and banditry? Was that a fake promise too? Anyway, we we'll wait for answers. Are they asked too many questions, Seth? When you have political parties with people who score 240,000 votes during party primaries, only to score less than 40,000 votes in the main election, I should be aware that such votes are fake votes. So if we definitely have fake promises, fake investigations, fake reports, they must be coming from fake votes. My only prayer is that the rising cost of goods and cost of living should turn out to be fake. But I don't want the government to tell us that it's all fake or a creation of detractors. They should rather, you know, work at it to reduce the cost. Anyway, since most of these things are fake, I don't expect our president to be aware, as he can't be aware of fake things anyway, since uh, Minister Fashola said he doesn't know, he's not aware of what happened to the camera he found at the Lucky Toll Gate. Please, if you know what happened to that camera, a handsome reward awaits you. Now, Rishi, Rishi, Percy, they hear, sir. How will therefore advocates, really, that our politicians had drawn up from amongst us? They are our brothers, our sisters, our schoolmates, classmates, Cosmate, we attend the same churches and mocks. We once worked together, once felt hardship together, shaped by our society and greed, and are only exhibiting what we collectively deposited in them. And until we change our attitude to everything around us, including our election and political leadership selection process, where we will collectively hold out our best and not bread, nothing will change as we will continue to be surrounded by everything but fake everything that is fake. The blame is enough to go around and we can only collectively correct it. Well, if we struck a chord with you 
or in you, simply follow us on all our social media platforms showing on your screen. Like, follow, subscribe. Leave a comment and share until we collectively build a nation where everything will be real. See you next week.